What's up guys? My name's Chris. I'm an entrepreneur in Sarasota. This year, I'm sitting down with business owners to learn all about their journeys, their triumphs, their struggles, and everything they've learned along the way. Today we're discussing betting on yourself with Andre Santa Maria. This is Stir. All right, so tell us, Andre, who are you? Andre Santa Maria, I'm a certified dementia practitioner with Senior Living Selections. Um, I started Senior Living Selections about a year ago. Um, I'm a senior care advisor, so I help families navigate um, through assisted living, memory care, independent living, options at home, um, looking for resources. Um, a lot of my families that I work with, they're starting the search for a reason. So that's where I come in and they see the value and what I can bring to them. Gotcha. So like, all right, so like mom and dad or mom or dad or both are running into difficulty or struggling with memory or, or they're not sure they can be home alone, things like that. Those are the type of families that reach out to me. Yeah. Gotcha. So majority of the time I, I deal with adult children and they're all out of state. Most of the time I'm awesome. talking to families that are in New Jersey, Connecticut, you know, Northeast, Midwest, gotcha. and they can't really be down here to make decisions for mom and dad and help them through the process. So they reach out to me, that way I can kind of help guide them. And you know, a lot of times they don't, they're not even here until after something's already happened and they've already moved in somewhere. And I've coordinated everything, made sure everything was, was um, done properly yeah, and sure. they find the right place for them. So they're up there, they've got boots on the ground here, so to speak. Yep. You're taking care of mom or dad and they don't have to worry as much. Exactly. Gotcha. That's cool. Okay. Um, why, why that industry? What, what draws you to that industry? Um, I've always, I've, I've been asked that question many times and I think a lot of it has to do with, I never had grandparents. All my grandparents passed before the age of three. So I never really had those memories of grandparents. And now I feel like I've been adopted by hundreds of grandparents. <laughs> and, um, I see the joy that my little boy has when, when there are, he's around them. So, you know, I've, that's kind of drew me into it. Um, and I've been doing it for the last eight years now, and it's been become a huge passion of mine um, of working with seniors, helping them, and it's rewarding. It's one of the only jobs that I've had that when you go home, you feel good about what you did. Nice. You know, you feel like, okay, you know, I, I, made, I made a difference. Yeah, in somebody's life or in a family's life. Yeah. That's cool, yeah, I can see how that's rewarding. Uh, tell me, you said you recently started mm -hmm. uh, th this company. Yes. So tell me about that, that start. Like, why did you start? Why did you decide to start brand new, fresh? What, what, what was going on then? Um, so I've always worked for a specific community. So if a family came to me and we weren't the right fit for any reason, whether, you know, we were too large, we weren't active, whatever, you know, there's always a reason why either family loves the community or they don't. Um, so I would always help them find something out there. Okay, I know I'm not the right fit. Gotcha. Let me help you find what is. Um, so I saw the opportunity of, hey, I want to be able to help someone wherever they go and help them through the whole process versus just not being the right fit. Um, so I took that opportunity and ran with it. Um, so now, you know, I, I don't work for just one particular community. I work for all of them and gotcha. I can help them no matter what their, their needs are. Right, more or less you work for the family than... Correct. Yeah, I got you, more, more for the family than for the community. That's cool. Um, starting a business is tough. It's, mm -hmm. not, it's not easy, I know that. Most of the people watching this probably are going through that or have gone through that or will go through that. Um, what's, what's the past year been like for you? It's actually been a um, pretty smooth transition. Luckily, I was, since I'm known in the community and um, already had relationships established, um, the transition from me going to, uh, from working in, in the community to being um, out and on my own was pretty seamless. I was already connected with the right people to help me grow my business. Um, and the community, thank, thank goodness, has been very supportive of what I do and about you know me as a person. So um, I've been able to grow pretty quickly. I've actually already hired um, an RN, a nurse, that's on staff that does what I do along with the whole transition process. But him having 
uh, being a nurse background is that much more value to a family member um, and even the communities when he's talking of what the needs are or the other day he went to see one of his um, families and at the nursing home he saw some errors and was able to you know communicate that so wow. that's things I would not catch if you know not having a nursing background yeah. so the fact that we're able to offer that to families is amazing um, and he's also able to go to their homes um, if they stay home or if they go to the community some of these families are like I said up north right. so they can do wellness checks he can check up on them make sure everything's good with with mom and dad make right. sure things are going well and um, report back to the family um, so we we do that at no cost nice and y'all I mean with that with that background you know what to look for exactly. right? yeah. that's cool I, I like that um, what is uh, what would you say has been the, the biggest struggle with getting a business started um, it was at the beginning was um, I kind of jumped into it head first yeah. um, didn't have everything in line and um, ideally when I wanted to start I wanted to have everything set up from day one right. and I'm still learning what things I need what things I did that I didn't need um, like for instance a website building a website um, all the directories there's a lot of things that were that I didn't really know of yeah. and I've been doing myself as I've been growing so now you know I'm looking to other people to help me hey I need I need help with this I need help with that and delegating things versus trying to do everything myself sure. so that's been probably the um, the biggest learning curve is yeah. everything that else that goes with owning a business and and um, starting it up yeah uh, I remember asking somebody that, that question a while back and they said you know you don't really know what you don't know mm -hmm. you know when you when you get started you get started and a year or two or three or five years down the road you learn something you're like I didn't know I needed to know that yeah. um, but yeah, you're, so so to this point, you've been doing it yourself, and and uh, at least those things, and kind of learning on your own, which is good. Mm -hmm. um, that's the only way to do it, yeah. you know. Um, what's been the the funnest part of the first year? Um, the first year has just been being able to say that I work for myself. Yeah. You know, most people are like, "Wow, you know, you you were you took a chance, you took a leap, and sure. you're doing well." So, you know, watching other, you know, working with other people and, and also there's so many people that already want to join the team. Like there's, there's people that say, hey, when you're ready to bring somebody on, I want to be on. Nice. So it feels good to have people that want to work with you, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, get, you know, uh, we were talking to Shelly uh, Insmeer, uh, an insurance agency down in Palmetto, and she said like getting the right people is like the biggest mm -hmm. challenge because if you get the wrong person, you know, it can hold you back for for years even but and plus just the negative energy or whatever you know uh within the within the office so yeah that's mm -hmm. that's cool um you're in south florida helping seniors uh there's a ton of them here yes, right um and there are other businesses that do this type of work mm -hmm. what what helps you to stand out like what do you convey what message do you convey to your audience that helps you to stand out from everybody else. There's a lot of things that I, I've seen in the last eight years that I've, I always said, if I start my business, if I do this, this is what I want to do and how I want to do it to provide the best service to the families. So um, yeah, there's, there's a lot of people who do what I do, but I feel like uh, my knowledge for one is sure. far greater than most. The fact that I've actually been doing this for eight years worked in the business, I've seen what goes on in communities, I can really portray to the families, okay, this is what you're looking for, this is what you want for your loved one. Yeah. Where a lot of them, you know, they, they came from different industries, they're just seeing the opportunity that it's a great opportunity to start a business and doing right. what we do. Um, and also, you know, I want to always be there for families, you know, through end of life. So that's something that is unique, which is the whole reason I wanted a nurse to be a part of the team is you know for families that's a, another asset um, since we don't ever charge families for what we do um, why not provide the best yeah. perspective of what how mom or dad is doing you know at any yeah. given time so um, so if mom lives to be 10 years more with you know is with us for more 10 more years we want 
to be able to communicate with, with her how mom is doing and give her updates from a clinical standpoint, which no one else really can do since they don't have that, you know, a nurse background. Yeah, they don't. And they don't, you know, with your experience, you, you know it from the other side, like the community side. So you're able to tell them exactly what they need and why, you know, rather than being like more uh, because they don't pay you, like rather than being more like a salesperson or, or whatever, you're helping them, you know, guiding them along the way. Um, okay, so a year ago you started the business, the night before, the night before you started. <laughs> tell me about that night, like what happened? Oh man. Like, well, like in, your, in your brain, like what were you thinking that woke you up the next day, ready to go? Uh, it was, it's time, you know, I just felt like it, it was, it was time for me to do what I've always wanted to do. I've, I've talked about it for over five years yeah. prior to. It, I, it was always a dream. So that the day before, um, my wife, thankfully, she's been very supportive. Um, it, yeah, it helps. She's scared because she stays at home, you know, so um, we're a single single family income. Yeah. So, um, you know, that was, that was a, you know, the, the thing always in the back of my mind is, you know, I've got to be able to support my family. Um, but she was so supportive, you know, we discussed it and um, I had m made enough connections, I felt like, in, in the area to say, okay, if I start tomorrow, I can, I'm, I'm going to be all right. Yeah. You know, so I was, I was very confident that I, I would do it. That's well. good. Yeah. That's good to hear. Most people say uh, the night before I was scary. I was scared. Yeah. <laughs> I was terrified. It's scary, but. There's some scary parts of it, but there's nothing better than, than working for yourself. Yeah. Um, and I think there's a, there's a lot to say about the confidence. If you go out there and show confidence, sure. you know, people are, are drawn to that. Yeah. So I think for anybody who's going to start a new business, I think that would be, you know, do something that you believe in, that you, you love already. Yeah. And it, for one, you know, what they say is it's never work. If you love it. If you love it's it. It's true. It's never work. Yeah. Um, and if you believe in it wholeheartedly, then you're going to be successful. Yeah. You know, because yeah. other people are going to see that, and they're going to they're going to want to work with you, you know, or work for you, or you know, send you referrals, whatever the case may be, because of your confidence in what you're doing. And if you always provide a good service, it's just going to keep coming. Yeah, you know, it's going to keep rolling, continue in. growing. Especially if you're helping people. Yeah. You know, as long as you keep doing right by people, helping people. I've learned like the more people you help, the more the phone rings. Yeah. You know what I mean? As long as you're doing good in the community and uh and uh doing right by people that you're working with like other people take note and it just mm -hmm. it just begins to come back and some people they'll say karma and stuff like that yeah. i you know whatever you want to call it i just believe it. as long as you do right by people it starts to come back Abs yeah. once you have that mindset of owning your own business it's like what else can you do that's right you know? yeah 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 to further the the mission yeah, yeah. absolutely yeah um cool man well i'm glad the first year was was a success um, I'm going to toast to your oh. continued success, sir. Thank you. There you go. Appreciate it. I appreciate you coming out and talking, and hopefully, you know, we, we shared some wisdom that some people can pick up some notes from, and we can help some, uh, some other people in the future. That sounds good. Thanks. All right. Thank you, Chris.